everyone, it's Samantha from Sammy Sweet Life and I am filming at night so I hope the lighting is okay for you guys. I am so excited because I just got my 2017 planner which is an Inkwell Press planner. I am so excited. This is one of the planner companies that I've been really interested in lately especially because I found my plum paper planner just wasn't working for me. This year, I went on like a planner discovery, bought a bunch of different planners. None of them ended up working for me except the day designers that I picked up at Target. So these are the Blue Sky day designers. They're way, way cheaper than the fancy day designers. So I got a smaller one and a larger one. I've been using these now since July. So I've got the smaller one for my YouTube stuff and then the larger one for my family stuff, appointments, to-do lists. While I really especially like the YouTube planner, I'm finding that this one's just not working for me anymore, but I really like the design of this, and I'll talk about it more when I walk through the inside of it here in a minute, but I think this design's just gonna work really well for me. I can change it up if I need to change it up, whereas the planners I've gotten before, I can't really change up, you know, if it's a skinny little column, I'm stuck with a skinny little column. If it's an hourly design, I'm kind of stuck with an hourly design. So I really am excited about this one. I did choose their flex style, which is the horizontal style. And that way I can, you know, change it up and customize it how I want to customize it. So I just wanted to film a video and walk you through the planner. So before I walk you through the inside of this, I just want to take a minute and talk about my planning moving forward. I really want to get into doing plan with me style videos. So I will have those on this channel starting the beginning of the year. I've really been wanting to do those, but this planner is just not set up for planning out very much. It's not very customizable. So in that way, it wasn't really working for me because I do want to use my cute little stamps that I got. I want to make some stickers. I want to buy some stickers. So I really want to get into more of the planning. Um, but not go overboard with it, not just have a page full of stickers, but I really would like to do some plan with me videos. So you can look forward to that coming in the new year when I start using my new planner. So if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so you can follow me along on my planning. I do have a lot of planner videos already on this channel. They're more productivity based. They're not really planner decorating videos, but I do have a whole planner playlist to check out if you're interested in that. Let's go ahead and move on and I'll walk you through my new gorgeous planner. To get started, it did come in a nice sturdy box wrapped in bubble wrap, wrapped in a craft bag to make sure that it was really nice and protected. So this is the first year that Inkwell Press is actually going to be in Office Max and Office Depot. Their launch is supposed to be the first week of October um, for those, but people are saying that they're already finding them in the store. And what's kind of weird about um, the way they're doing it is the Flex design, which is the one I have here, is only available from their website. And then the Classic design, which is the other design that they offer, is only available at Office Depot. So depending on which design you want, you'll have to go to Office Max or Office Depot or shop at their Inkwell Press website. So it's a little bit unusual that you can't just, you know, go to their website and get everything that you want. They also are supposed to have some Office Max slash Depot exclusive items like desktop planners and stuff like that. So uh, I definitely am going to check out Office Max to see what accessories they have. Today's video is all about this uh, flex planner and this is the wood grain pattern. They've only got a few covers. The planner covers are not customizable. They just come like this. So you've got the little elastic strap. They have the gold coil which is a really nice quality. It's nice and thick. So I'm just going to walk you through the planner. So it does come with a ruler. They have a gold ruler and you can just stick it in between wherever you want it. So however high you want it up sticking. There's the beginning page. So the reason I really decided to go with this was because I got the meal planner. I loved the paper in the meal planner. And so I decided to just pull the trigger and get this one. And I think the paper quality is just so nice. Um, I'm really impressed with the paper. So walking through, there's a plan ahead tab. Here's the important dates. Now I will say these planner tabs are more flimsy than the plum paper planner ones. I really like the plum paper planner tabs, but what really set me over the edge on this one was the cover. I really just love the thicker covers. The um, plum paper planners just have that really flimsy cover. It's hard to 
lean on like this one I could lean on this and write really easily without having to worry about my paper messing up I could not do that with the plum paper planner it's got the important dates it's got a lot of goal setting stuff so it's got your mission for the year different categories for goals and then it breaks them down for um, different time frames throughout the year then a 2017 year to glance quote on the January tab and then the tab moves straight into the uh, monthly spread and I love that I love the tab having the monthly spread on it <laughs> and then here's their mission board so each month it comes with a bunch of different hexagons with the titles on them some of them are left blank and then there's also this line here you can write something there it just kind of goes up to this next page so it's got a planning section a focus section and then this is new for this year comes with three daily habit trackers so if you want to track something every day you can just keep track of it every day of the month I really love that and then here is what the flex looks like the classic is actually in the columns and then it has the three colorful boxes at the bottom of the column and whereas here it's got a big horizontal space with the three squares there so you could use the three squares for whatever you want for meals for I've seen for hydration tracking could be your top three of the day top things you want to get accomplished and so I'm gonna zoom in and hopefully you guys can see what I'm gonna show you guys there is a teeny tiny little dot right there and there's also a teeny tiny dot right there this is something that just totally pushed me over the edge to buy this one these dots actually divide these horizontal sections completely in half. So you could use a washi tape, you could use your ruler and draw a line there. And then you have three sections for the day. So I'm thinking I will definitely be dividing that because I'm not a huge fan of the horizontal layout. But I love the idea of having two separate spaces for things. And I love the idea of the columns being thicker than if I were to go with the, you know, the column style planner. The columns would be much thinner. So I am just, I'm giddy about those dots. It'd be so easy to just line up washi tape right there. You could have like an appointments timed event section and then like a daily to-do list along with whatever I choose to use that for. I just totally love this idea that it's already divided in half for me because I could always divide a horizontal planner in half, but I just wouldn't do it as perfectly as if I already have those guides. I'm really happy that those are there. And then at the bottom, there's a weekly focus with a one through five list and then a notes section. So the whole month is the same color, it's just the same color. And then there is a section for notes and ramblings. And these are dotted, but you could make your own lines or you could just kind of follow the dots to make your own lines. Then moving into February, there's the monthly spread. There's the mission board. And then this month is all the aqua color. March monthly spread, mission board, and then it's a light pink color. And then I think April is the last of their four different color schemes. So got that. So we've got the monthly spread, the mission board, and then um, like the greeny mint type of color. And then May moves back into the yellow. And then they just repeat those four color schemes throughout the rest of the planner. So you can look at the tabs. Um, the tabs are all different colored. So we'll go to the very end. It goes all the way through to December. And then there's this section called Extras. It's got a gift list. And then some travel planning pages section for keeping track of movies, keeping track of books, and then a monthly bill tracker. And then there's a section just for notes. It's not very many pages, so get three front and back pages and then a front and a back. And then a 2018 calendar. I'm trying to flip a bunch of pages at once, so that is a little bit more difficult with the coil style planners. And then there's a pocket. It's got a pocket on both sides. And then there's also this little slip pocket so you could slip in a mini notebook or keep stickers or whatever you want. So this is 
a much more secure pocket than this one will be. I found that um, my pockets like this in my planners, the stuff would always just fly out and fall out. But this one, I definitely could see using a lot more. And then that's the end. So since it is this kind of coil, I'm gonna flip all the pages back to the front instead of trying to move the cover the other way. You can see I'm not used to this kind of coil, so I'm kind of not doing a great job flipping it. And then the back cover looks just like the front, except it's got the Inkwell Press logo on there. And this is gold foil, by the way. I don't know if I said that about the front. It is gold foil where the year is, but I am just totally in love with it. I think it's so beautiful. And I think I'm going to be really happy using it because I can divide it and then you know, plan my stuff how I want it. We recently moved to Austin, Texas. Um, from Illinois and I found that when I was in Illinois, you know, I had a lot of friends, I had a lot of play dates, I had a lot of planned activities that we were involved in, so I really did need that um, hourly appointment type of planning. But when we moved to Texas, I don't know anybody, <laughs> I don't have anywhere to go, so I really don't need mo the bulk of my planner dedicated to an hourly um, list because that's just not what we're doing yet. We're just kind of settling in. We've got lots more to-do list type tasks versus uh, appointment style play date type of things. So it would be a lot better for us to use something like this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the look at this. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this planner with me. If you're interested in picking up an Inkwell planner, I will have a referral coupon in the description box below. It gives you $10 off your purchase. So I hope you guys will check them out. I'm really, really excited to use my new planner starting 2017. I can't believe we're already talking about 2017. Um, it's crazy, but I'm so excited. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.